tips on how to look after your table tennis bat. Coach and Rothick explains some simple tips to maintain your racket. It's the most important equipment in table tennis. One, make sure the paddle is clean. Make sure the paddle is clean before you use it again. The first thing you need to do to make sure your paddle is sticky is to clean it often. Make sure you don't clean it. If you don't then, you will have different problems with it. The paddle should be cleaned with clean water, alcohol, or a cleaning agent that is approved by the company that makes it. When the paddle is dry, you can put it outside to dry. You can do this to get any dust off of the rubber of the paddle and make it more sticky. 2. Glue the rubber correctly. Second, use glue. Glue holds things together, and it can help make your paddle sticky. Putting glue on the paddle is one of the most common ways to make paddles that stick better. It is used by both amateur and professional players. You should find strong and thick glue. It's better than a thin and weak glue. 3. Use oil. If you want to make the paddle more sticky, you could brush it with oil. One of the best oils to use is sunflower oil. Users say that rubbing the oil on the surface has made the paddles more sticky. Put a small amount of the foam on the rubber and let it dry. It makes your paddle look better and work better, so it's worth it. Even though it isn't used by many professionals, it is still very good at what it does. 4. Use a protector film. A paddle that is cleaned of dust and stains is going to be more sticky. However, there is another way to make the stickiness last longer. You can get a protective film to do this. The film might be bigger than the surface of the rubber, so it will need to be cut. This isn't a bad thing. It will help to protect the rubber's edge and keep the paddle sticky for a long time. 5. Use boosters. Boosters also work well. However, if you're just playing for fun, you can have a lot of fun with a tuner. In order to use boosters, you put them on the rubber and let them dry for about a day. You can apply it again after a day and wait 12 hours before playing with the paddle. This will have even more of an effect. You should look at a paddle that is very sticky. 6. Use a cleaner. In order to clean the rubber surface, use a cleaner. You should buy a high quality cleaning solution and use it correctly on the paddle. Some people use toothbrushes to clean the paddle, but this isn't a good idea because it can scratch the rubber and make it look bad. Search for Butterfly Spin Refresher. Butterfly is a well-known brand in the ping pong care supplies market. The care kit from the brand is one of the best ways to take care of your paddles. 7. Change the rubber. The rubber that comes with your paddle will wear down over time, no matter what you do. For this reason, you might need to buy a new rubber to replace the one that is broken or less sticky. However, as we have said, taking care of and cleaning your paddle will help it last as long as possible. When you change the rubber, choose a rubber that works well with how you play. There are a lot of things you can do, and each one has its own advantages. Choose the best forehand rubber and the best backhand rubbers. They are not the same. Conclusions As a good player, it's important to keep the rubber on your paddle as sticky as possible. It will be very hard for you to get enough spin on the ball if the paddle isn't sticky because of dust or something else. A ping-pong paddle can be made sticky by following these tips. Remember, the tackiness will help you spin more. Keep your paddle as clean as possible.